Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here with Crazy Marketing, and in this video, we're going to talk about macro versus micro sales funnels. Now, this is going to be a pretty quick video, but it's kind of like digital marketing or marketing 101. So, let's just get straight into it. So, your business is a funnel, it's a macro funnel. Let's just use that for simplicity's sake. It's a big macro funnel. And basically, with your business, you're getting cold traffic in. So people that don't know who you are, don't know about your products or services, don't might not even know that they have a problem or that your business solves that particular problem. So you got all these cold people over here. Your business also has warm people. So people that know about your business, know about your products, your services, know about their problem, etc. Maybe they're on your email list or maybe they've only seen some content on your website or an ad or something like that. Or maybe they've even purchased like a low dollar item or something like that. So they're warm, they know who you are, they know they know about you, right? And then your business also has hot people. And these are people that are buyers, ready to buy again. They're advocates. They're telling other people about your brand. They're recommending you to other people and so on. So you have a big business funnel with different types of people in that funnel. Cold people, warm people, hot people. So you always need to take into account and consideration your business's macro funnel. Now, within that macro funnel, you're going to have a bunch of different micro funnels or micro sales funnels. And so you're going to have some for cold people. You're going to have lead micro sales funnel. So it might be a two step, you know, lead gen funnel or something to that effect. You might have content funnels where you're showing people ads or you're bringing them to to blog posts or videos or something like that. You might have product funnels where you're trying to sell like a low dollar product or maybe service or you might have webinar funnels and so on. So you're bringing in cold people that don't know about you and you're kind of bringing them into your business. And then with the people that are in your business, your macro funnel, you're going to be giving them other offers. So it might be lead micro funnels, content micro funnels, product micro funnels, webinar, service, product, etc. So you're going to have all these different micro sales funnels for different offers that you have, different products, services, content, leads, all that type of stuff. Uh, you're going to be bringing those people into those other micro sales funnels. So your entire system, your entire marketing campaign is a collection of micro sales funnels, which makes a big macro funnel and it brings people from cold to warm to hot and so on. So when you're building your funnels, you need to consider your entire macro system as a whole. So if you're focused only on one single product funnel or something like that, and it's not doing too well, well, that can be okay because you might have other webinar funnels, service funnels, other product funnels, or other funnels out there that, that do resonate with that particular person and you can convert them at that point in time. So when you're building your micro sales funnels, which can be fun to build, don't get me wrong, I love my micro sales funnels, but when you're building them, take into account your entire business and how it all integrates together. So let me move over real quick and I want to cover something real quick. So the macro is your whole system, your whole business, cold to warm to hot, all that stuff, all your micro sales funnels, you know, connected together, interconnected with marketing automation, advertisements, and so on. And then of course you do have your micro funnels and these are for particular offers. Um, so products, services, things like that. And this includes your ads, your pages, your automations, et cetera, that are trying to sell those individual offers, products, services, et cetera. And so the key is it all feeds back into your business. So every micro sales funnel that you're building needs to feed back into your business of converting people from cold to warm, from warm to hot, and repeat hot, and so on. So don't get stuck on that one single funnel. Honestly, you're probably more than that one funnel away. I know that's a big thing is one funnel away, the one funnel away challenge, and that's a great concept and everything, but it's kind of like playing the lottery, and I'll explain that in just a second here. So now I wanna address four different scenarios with you really quickly. So let's say that you have a decent macro strategy so you have your micro funnels they're all interconnected you got cold to warm warm to hot and so on you got all that planned out and you're trying to move people around and showing them different offers and all that stuff and you have good micro funnels so you have some copywriting skills you got great offers all that type of stuff like they convert well you're gonna have an amazing sustainable business like straight up if you got the macro down you got the micro down like amazing sustainable business now if you have a decent macro strategy so you got your funnels all connected and all that stuff and you're thinking about your business as a whole um 
but you only have okay micro funnels. Uh, and this is okay. Um, this is where most small business owners go is okay micro funnels because you know, they're not professional marketers. They don't have copywriting skills. They're not taking all these courses. They don't have professional videographers, you know, all that type of stuff that goes into a good micro funnel. Like a lot of people just can't get a good micro funnel, but it's very easy to make okay micro, fu micro funnels. And if you have enough okay micro funnels and they're connected properly together, well then you're gonna have a sustainable business. And this is where I'd like to see most people go is to have a decent macro strategy and have okay micro funnels. Yes, it'd be great to have good mac micro funnels all over the place, but again, that, that is hard to do. Okay micro funnels, anybody can make okay micro funnels, but you gotta have that decent macro strategy where everything's connected, you're taking into account your entire business as a whole, and you can have a sustainable business guaranteed. So moving on to the next scenario, let's say that you have a bad macro strategy, so you're not thinking about your business as a whole, you're not worried about cold to warm, warm to hot, or connecting your micro funnels together, you're not worried about any of that, you're just building a micro funnel, you're sending cold traffic to it, and you hope it works. Um, now, it could, if you have a good micro funnel, like you could be that one funnel away concept. Um, but typically that is short-term profitability. So typically it won't be enduring because you know that funnel will be burnt out or somebody else is gonna copy it because if you only have one funnel and people know that it works, well, they're gonna come copy it and rip you off and then you'll have competition and all that other type of stuff. So more than likely you'll have some short-term profitability and it's kind of like playing the lottery because you do need a good micro funnel for this to work. In order to be one funnel away, you need a good, a dang good micro funnel. And you know, most people just can't produce those. Like those are very hard to produce, but you know, if you can, you can do very, very well in the short term. Now moving on to the final scenario is a bad macro strategy and okay micro funnels equals failure. And I see this more often than I like to see this is a small business owner, you know, they, they're focused on their day-to-day -day business and they're trying to do some marketing on the side so they're making okay funnels, but they have no, no macro strategy whatsoever. They're just building a random lead gen funnel. They're like, it's not working. Like, I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. And I see this all the time and of course it leads to failure because they don't have any backup plan they're not bringing people back to different offers they're just sending people to a page and it's not working and th that's it and of course it fails so if you're in this failure mode where it seems like most everything you're doing is failing it's more than likely because you're creating okay micro funnels okay that's fine but you have no backup strategy you know have, have no macro strategy on how you can convert people later on down the road. And so I urge you to think about the macro strategy. Think about your business as a whole, and that way you can get it from a bad macro strategy to a decent macro strategy with your okay micro funnels, and then you got yourself your sustainable business. So that's where I want you to go. And again, the key is it all feeds back into your business. So every little micro funnel that you build feeds back into your business. So think about that as you're building. Hopefully this video helps somebody out there. And that's it for this video. I hope you have a great rest of the day.